Hey, Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And with that, let's get to it. So dear Sagittarius, something is bothering you a lot these days. Something is there that causes you headache, pain, suffering and is right in the center. Is it compulsive behavior? Is it drink, smoke, a, a toxic relationship? Is it something you're holding on um, uh, so badly that it keeps you in a prison? Because it seems like um, with the devil on the center, when the devil comes up, that is obvious that is there. It's obvious that you have something you need to deal with. And if nobody else can do that for you, it's you, you have to, uh, you have to address. So look into yourself, especially now, it's, it's Christmas coming up, it's gonna be time where people get together, it's more drinking, more, um, um, you know, parties and all other things can happen where it's easy to fall back into our bad habits, not eating properly, smoking, drinking, drugs, um, overindulgence on anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but it seems like you know exactly there is something not right. So if you are not exercising, for example, or if you are not, if you are not focusing on healthy eating, you just eat whatever comes your way because it's, uh, it's Christmas and there will be a new year resolution for you and you will focus on that. You need to do it now because it's about your health. So it's not something hidden, it's right there in front of you. And if you have to say no certain times to people, to friends, to family members, whatever, because they expect you to be in a certain way, they expect you to do things in a certain way or behave in a certain way, it also says that you have to draw a line, put your feet down and say, this is what, it, this is what I am, I'm not going to change for anybody and for anything. You should be too or old enough to have your life in your way, as long as it's the healthy way. If people around you suggesting that don't do certain things, then you could listen to that as well. But in, in this uh, card here, which is in the center, it means that you know exactly what is not right in your life. You just have to address it. Maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's something you are not happy about in your life, and you know it's better it's better to be in the dark when you make a decision to cut something or somebody or or whatever is that out of your life and have that gap and if that gap could be frightening that's fine because only in the time being so cutting a a cord and have nothing after that most people, this is what they find more, most uh, um, um, scary. But that gap, that time, that silence helps you to find your shining star again. Because when you are in a situation, you can't see the light. You see, the only light you can see is the torch of this devil. It's dark. It's in the hell. It's all, all black. But this guy here, the hermit, which is which it, it should be you, looking for the light that will enlighten your life. So this is where you should be going. And yes, first it's gonna be dark because you don't know where you're going. You don't know the path. You've never been there. It's a new journey. It's a new. But decision have to be made. And with the moon, the moon gives you enough light to to sort of get by. And trusting yourself that you're going to go on the right direction and you are on the right direction, even though it's a dark forest and you have to go through, you have to trust that the sun will come up and the sun will always come up. So 
the dark as the night, the, the near is the dawn. So this is how you should look at things. Like, not like, oh, well, it's dark enough here, but I don't know what's beyond. Well, beyond is always the sun that will come up. And here is the sun for you. So things can be really good in the future if you walk away from those things that are not serving you. You have to make a choice. You have to make a decision which direction you want to take. You have to be, be precise in your dealings. You have to be communicating really precisely. This is what I like. This is what I dislike. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. And do everything based on that. You don't have to be arrogant. You don't have to be um, uh, hurting other people with, with your words. But you can communicate in a certain way that you say, well, I appreciate and I understand where you are coming from, but I'm going to a different direction because I prefer and that I know that direction is better for me. And come and you better come from the position of strength, not the position of fear, the position of stability. Because if you talk to other people and say, well, you know, this is my experience. I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm not doing this to annoy you. I'm not doing this to whatever. I'm just doing it because I believe this is the right decision for me. Then nobody can say we don't have a right to do it or you shouldn't do it or, uh, or whatever. And if somebody don't like you as being different or changed or, or going to a direction that you, you believe that's better for you, then you walk away from those people. You walk away from those situations that they don't appreciate you anymore. You take away your values, your ex, um, experience, your knowledge and everything because they don't appreciate it. And it's time to invest in yourself. It's time to start putting some effort in learning, to developing yourself, to become better. Because sometimes you just keep working, 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 working and believing that someone will... Um, acknowledge our uh, hard work somebody will will appreciate our hard work and time goes by and nothing is happening because we are expecting somebody else to acknowledge what we do but now it's time for you to acknowledge what you do and start investing in your own future in your own self time energy money effort start learning start putting something back into and of course it's going to be a struggle as well as internally as well as externally because there always be people who prefer you who you are now and they don't want you to change because it's predictable if you say oh, i don't want to work this amount of time anymore because i want to do some studies i don't know yeah but we were expecting you to always be here and do the work and you say yeah well but that doesn't take me anywhere my self-development will so yes there will be some uh, struggle internally as well as externally, but you're going to come out on top. Why? Because you know why you are doing what you are doing. So get out of these negative situations, get out of these um, problems, issues, those settings that cause you nightmares, that cause you headaches, that cause you pain and sleepless night. Because the devil is here. You know exactly what's not right for you, but you need to get out. Because these thoughts, they're only in your mind. You holding yourself back with the thoughts. They are not real and they never become real. And if you do it, then new opportunities, new options, new possibilities, everything is going to come your way. And so rapidly, uh, with vastly, that you're just going to to, to uh, try to understand well, how all these things coming from. How come they never had them before? Well, you never had them because you were too busy grinding. You were too busy doing with stuff with stuff. But now, if you focus on your own development, you focus on your future, you focus on what you want to achieve and let the negative, the chain, the trap, the, the prison behind then the new opportunities will come your way and you will be able to take those opportunities. 
Of course, it's going to be hard work, but you're doing the hard work anyway. But this time, you're going to work for yourself, for your own development. And there will be some people who are not and who are not going to ha be happy about it, about you. It's not your problem. It's their issue. So I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Does this resonate with you at all? Let me know in the in in comment box. And now let me give you a couple of cards for the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So what's the message? Dear Sagittarius, what to focus on this week? That's purification. So boil things down in the very simple form holistically step back and say is this good for me is this bad for me is it supporting me it's not is, is it healthy is unhealthy so boil it down everything in your life all your habits your friends your situations and make a decision based on that very um, um, uh, precise way it's going to be black and white it's not going to be a uh, kind of no is it good is bad and focus on the good and leave the bad behind next it's protection you are protected by the universe everything you do it's you have the blessing of the universe you are protected you don't need to be afraid you don't need to be um, um, scared of what what comes tomorrow it doesn't matter because the foundation is solid and you are protected by the universe as i said so inner peace you should have the inner peace to make that decision this guy here is definitely have the inner peace this is the direction you are going you can open your third eye and you can um, um, look at things through that way and you don't need to worry about what's happening around you in the material world right so now let me give you a card from the um, romantic oracle so what's the message for sagittarius i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so this could be someone from uh, your loved one who probably passed away mom dad grandma grandpa auntie whatever um they are always gonna be there for you thinking of you on a daily basis and probably you thinking of them on a daily basis as well so the message is i love you and your love fills me with light so you don't have to forget you don't have to do anything um uh, different just they want you to be happy fulfilled uh, and live your life in the best way you can at end with that dear Sagittarius I really appreciate you being here I wish you a really good Christmas period and and uh, good times with your friends and family and and whatever you spend it and hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one thank you thank you guys for watching my videos um, please check out the links below in the description box you can get some nice little uh, jewelries from the Onyx Heaven it's a, it's a small family shop, so every support is uh, appreciated. Thank you.